Hello everyone, welcome back to Hills Mill Homestead. In this video, I wanna share more information with you about our electroculture, our electromagnetic energy, and a new product that we've been trying for several weeks now called Plant Surge. See what a good idea it was for this outdoor sink. This is where we wash most of our vegetables. And it sure does come in handy. But I believe we've got enough for uh, two or three days worth of meals to add in some fresh vegetables. You know, we talk a lot about our electroculture antennas for the garden, and we talk about a lot about our electroculture antenna for the orchard. But let me also explain another method of electroculture that is a plain and simple. It's using magnets to draw in electromagnetic energy from our atmosphere. You may want to use these as an additional method with your electroculture to enhance the growth of your vegetables to make the plants do better and perform better. But this is just another addition of electroculture. So don't get this confused with our copper antennas because this is completely different. Our Earth's inner core is made of liquid metal and the spinning of the liquid metal inside our Earth is creating natural electricity that is sent out through the Earth and it creates our electromagnetic field around the Earth. Now you can go back for research is the Faraday Law and also the Lens Law that explains all those methods of how it actually works. The energy from the electromagnetic field that is around our Earth travels from pole to pole. And with the design of our electroculture antenna, let me just tell you that some of my research came from, a lot of research came from Nikola Tesla. I've also Research the Lukovsky coil, and there's a, a couple of ideas from a CB antenna that was introduced into the design that I have made with this antenna. But this is the electroculture antenna that we sell on our website at hillsmill.com. And how this works is it is receiving that natural electricity that is going from pole to pole with our magnetic fields and it is, it is received through this antenna and into the soil, the electrons are going to help the bacteria grow and it's also great for all the microorganisms that are alive in our soil. Our 100% copper coil antenna is a great deterrent for slugs and snails. Now, in a previous video, you have seen where on my orchard antenna that I use for shepherd hooks, I also add the magnets to that shepherd hook. And let me explain more, and this leads in to the plant surge. As I said earlier, this is plant surge, and we've been testing this for several weeks, and we have absolutely seen positive results. Now, what this is, is some very strong magnets, and this is two pieces you will attach it to your garden hose or whatever hose you use for watering your plants, even for nurseries. They sell a product that's larger than this for a lar lot larger pipe. But what this does is it creates a magnetic field inside here and when the water passes through it, it changes the molecular structure and becomes a water softener and it allows the plants to take up the water more easily. Now, the biggest part of this research, and I have researched everything that I can find on the internet about plant surge, and I have stacks of papers that I've went through about this. I would not mention a product that we did not believe in. The science to this can go back to Louis Pasteur. I'm sure some of you are familiar with that name. Plant surge believes in their product so much that they offer a 365 day guarantee that if you're not satisfied, you will return, they will return your money. So that's really hard to be, you don't find a lot of products today 
They give you a money back guarantee. But here is a fun fact for you. So all animals and birds, now not all birds because some of the migratory birds have a light sensor in their eye that gives them the direction north and south. But all animals have a built-in sensory for electromagnetic energy. And that's how they know the direction where they're going, where they've been. And I found this interesting and I read this and it's not something I'm making up. You can check for yourself, but every dog, when it uses the bathroom, his face is gonna be pointing north. So I thought that was pretty interesting. For more information on plant surge and the science behind it, we're gonna put a link in the bottom of this video and if you use our link, you're gonna receive a 10% discount on this product and any other product that you purchase through Plant Surge. You know, one thing about this landscape fabric, I love the landscape fabric for the garden, but you gotta keep it clean. Sometimes it'll hose or just sweep it. If you let debris and soil get on top of it, grass is gonna grow on top of this. So when it does get dirty, I try to keep it all clean and swept off. It just makes it look nicer. But look at our carrots. I want to show you how well our carrots have done this year. Let me pick a few more. We're at the end of our spring garden, our lettuce. We're still picking lettuce, but for the most part, our spinach and different things have gone to seed. All of our broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and all that, we harvested that. And so we're cleaning out our containers and we're working on our carrots, but check this out. Let me see if I can find a pretty carrot. I should have already looked, but we'll look again. Oh, I see one right here. Let's see. There's a pretty carrot. We're gonna add that to the rest of our carrots here. I want you to look at those. Those are some nice carrots now for growing in containers. It's hard to beat that carrot. And my goodness, if you haven't grown your own carrots, you just don't know what taste you're missing out on because it is just, you can't purchase the taste of this carrot at any grocery store or farmer's market unless you know that it's organic. And as everybody knows, we use electroculture on everything that we grow. Every container has an electroculture antenna all of our garden area has electroculture antenna. Our orchard area, we have the orchard antennas for the electroculture. I've got uh, several of those made up now. I finally finished that product and the research. And so be looking for it coming soon. But my goodness on these carrots. And we have ate, we almost feel like sheep. We've ate so much salad and radishes and onions and we've enjoyed the carrots mixing it in with our salads. But we sure have enjoyed that this year. It has really done well. Let's see if there's some more big ones. I'm not gonna pick all of them because these little ones will grow just a little bit more. But I do need to thin them right here. So that is not quite as big, but it does need to be thinned. I think this container is going to be okay. Just want to say that we do it in our containers. We have a small garden and growing areas and we grow plenty of food for ourselves. Now we grow extra and we try to get it to the farmer's market and to our customers. But as you can see, we don't have a big farm. So we do the best that we have with what we have to do with. And these containers work excellent. If you think you can't grow containers or carrots in a container, well, you can see for yourself what we've done. And if you remember back earlier in the video, the frost, or actually it was a hard freeze, got these carrots and knocked them back. But we did finally, we've got some that we've been eating all along. And then some of these are getting to be really good size. Do you see our magnets? Let's talk about how we use our electromagnetic energy here at Hills Mill Homestead. So, 
Electromagnetic energy is real. It's as real as electroculture or anything else. And it just depends on how you use it. And I've mentioned this in videos before. I use shepherd hooks for some of my bigger antennas for the orchard, but then I'll add the magnets to the shepherd hook to balance out any effects from the metal that's in the ground by the magnets being attached to it, making it magnetic to draw electromagnetic energy from the ether. So that's another one of the things that we do as far as the electromagnetic energy, the electroculture baskets, that works on a different method, and then our electroculture antennas is a different method of electroculture. One of the main properties that this will do to your water when you hook it to your hose is it changes the molecular structure of the cells of the water and it makes the cells smaller for your plants to absorb the water when you do water and i'm going to tell you that it absolutely works and i'm going to show you that it works so i've been using it for the tomatoes cucumbers onions everything we grow even our orchard i've been using the plant surge and I have absolutely noticed a big difference in the production of our blooms, especially on the tomatoes and the cucumbers. But I'm going to show you how it works. This is proof that it works. If you look back on our videos from the past, probably about, I don't know, at least two or three videos. Come, on, come this way, I'm going to show you. You can see that our, that our peas have played out. And my goodness, did we have some delicious peas. My goodness, they're good. Mm. Good peas. But I'm pulling the plants now and feeding them to the rabbits and feeding them to the chickens. And it's just a big recycle because all of that manure and everything from the chickens and rabbits goes into our compost. Our compost goes into our soil. And this is the results of everything that we do. But to talk about the plant surge, like I said in the video, a couple of previous videos, you have seen this clematis in the background. And even in the spring, we showed that it had one bloom. And that bloom lasted probably two, two to three weeks. But the plant just stalled and didn't put on another bloom. The plant's really not that large right now, but it's starting to take off. But since I've been using the plant surge to water this, I want you to look. As I said, it had one bloom. Well, here's two on this one that have just opened up. And you can look on this plant continuously. And I have counted 14 more blooms that are beginning to open. And there's only one reason, and that's from plant surge. I have babied this thing all year, and it's done nothing except that one bloom that you can see in our previous videos. So if you look back at the videos that we did in the past three or four weeks, you'll see this plant in the background just idling, not doing anything with one bloom. Since I've used the plant surge, we have 14 blooms opening up. So that is as much proof. I can talk about the tomatoes, the cucumbers, all the extra blooms, but this is undeniable of what the plant surge has done for this plant. Well, I hope you enjoyed our content. Please subscribe, share, and like, and we look forward to you joining us on our next video.